What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jess and you are watching Keto Rewind. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Also for everybody who has been supporting my channel and leaving such kind and wonderful comments. So thank you always for those words of encouragement. Um, yeah, real quick, my hair is shorter. Um, I don't wear my hair curly a lot lately. <laughs> so I got like an inch trimmed off. But when you curl it, it's like I chopped like 20 inches off. So you're not seeing things. My hair is definitely shorter. <laughs> but curly hair just makes it seem more. So, um, but anyways, today's video is a week 144 update of my keto transformation. So it has been 1,009 days since I started this channel. Um, or two years, nine months. So that is a long time. So anyways, thanks for always being here and for supporting this channel. So real quick before I start today's video, I wanna thank Built Bar for sponsoring this video. Okay, so the Built Bars remind me of candy bars that have protein in them. <laughs> what would my videos be like without a photo bomber? And of course, somebody else wants to photo bomb. <laughs> so I love the macros. And you know, other keto bars are usually really high in calories and that's always something that you could completely blow your macros on um, or they'll taste horrible. So these ones are like the best of both worlds. Low in calories, high in protein, low in net carbs. Um, and they actually taste good. So my favorite is the cookies and cream. Um, this one is delightful, love them, love them. <laughs> um, my second favorite is salted caramel, as you can see. Definitely have been hitting those. And then um, if you like like an Almond Joy, the coconut and the coconut almond are fantastic options. My kids love the fruit flavored, you know, like the raspberry, cherry, um, strawberry, that kind of thing. So you know when you're on the road and you stop at a gas station, all those candy bars look so delicious. Well, this is the way I stay on track when I'm traveling. So with two days in the car, going there, and also on the return trip, I'm making sure I bring Built Bars. If you have a trip coming up or you just wanna try some Built Bars, use my code down below and save 10% off your order. And a big thanks to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's talk about week 144. Now, one perk of being morbidly obese in the past was I did not ever, well, I wasn't ever, but I, I didn't get my period or monthly cycles often. So it would go, I would go maybe twice a year having a cycle and you would, I would have no idea when it was coming. Um, and, and that was, I was lucky to get that many. So <laughs> obviously that's a perk, but because who wants their monthly cycle? But now after losing 100 pounds, um, or since I really started this weight loss journey, I am regular, like every single month. So while that is awesome, it also, it also is an uneasy feeling because this is something that I, I'm not used to. You know, it's like, and it comes every month. <laughs> um, but I will say I, I had an emotional week because obviously Aunt Flo has made her granted entrance. But when I come, when I know that my period's coming, it usually a tip is I'm extra emotional. So last week I was overly emotional. Like I just let stuff bother me. I just, you know, took offense. I was sensitive. You know, like just so much stuff that I normally would just like, whatever. Cause I'm not that type of a person that it's hard to get in. You know, like I have walls, you know, I'm not a hugger. I'm, I'm not a crier. I'm not, I'm just, I'm tough on the outside. Um, which obviously, I'm not really tough because I'm eating my emotions instead. So. <laughs> so it's not like it's the better thing here. I'd much rather cry than, you know, want to eat the whole house. So anyways, um, I kind of got off track there. But what I'm trying to say is I was much more emotional and sensitive, sensitive last week. And, you know, right now, the thing that's been on my mind for a long time, um, looking back a year ago, I was one pound away from my goal weight. I was 180 pounds. So over the past year, I have been trying so hard to get to my goal weight. I was one freaking pound away, you know, and it's so frustrating and it's like, I feel like I'm constantly a failure, you know, so the scale has been creeping up and I've been fighting it. So I lose 10 pounds, I gain 10 pounds, I lose. So I've been yo-yoing the whole year. 
So that emotionally, you know, got to me last week. I'm like, dang it, get it together. You know, like, I don't do this. Like, we get it done here, and this is not acceptable. So, of course, I chew myself up. I am more brutal than any hateful comment could possibly be. I am 10 times worse to myself. So, like, you just spare yourself. I will beat myself up all day long. So I feel like that failure of I'm not there yet, you know, 100 pounds isn't good enough, you know, like as if that wasn't something that people would love to have under their belt, you know, dropping 100 pounds naturally, you know, through diet and exercise. Um, but I'm not happy with that. I was, I lost 130, you know, and, you know, it's just like back and forth, back and forth all week. I'm just mad. But I'm not saying that so that to justify or anything, but I will say I overate as a result last week. Um, just the, having my emotions in my head. I didn't exercise that I want, like I wanted to, um, and I was bored. I, when I started this channel, you know, I was just randomly posting videos, but then once it started getting big, I was posting four minimum, four videos minimum a week. You know, and then with some of them, I was going 30 days straight, you know, so I was doing so much filming, so much editing that I didn't have time to be bored. I'm a boredom either. Not only am I an emotional eater, but I like to eat when I'm bored. Um, I like to eat when I'm stressed and feeling anxious. So I'm like, oh. <sighs> so with all that being said, I'm not saying that because I'm, you know, making excuses. I obviously didn't lose weight again this week and I get on the scale and I'm actually up. I'm up to 210. So after the past three weeks of not weighing myself and like thinking I could, you know, I was only up a couple of pounds. Well, three weeks now, I am just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I granted my periods here, but I mean, six pounds. <laughs> So, but whatever. Yeah, so the other thing that's on my mind is I have a trip. We're going to Florida for Thanksgiving. We're going to Kyle's parents' house. My parents are there with their motorhome in their, like parked in their yard. My sister's coming, Kyle's sister. And it's like, it's a wonderful because we're going to be with our family. And it's like, we, you know, unfortunately we all live different in different states. So like holidays are big for us. We're big foodies. You know, but unfortunately that gives me anxiety knowing, you know, weight gain. Like last year, I think I gained 18 pounds in a week. I'm already up for the year. I don't want to gain 18 more. So for the past like week, I've been like, okay, I got to come up with a Thanksgiving stuffing or dressing recipe. Nailed it. There's the recipe link right there. Awesome. So that solved that. We have mashed potatoes that we just swapped for cauliflower mashed potatoes. Done. Gravy is super easy to convert to keto. I mean... <laughs> done. Then we have the turkey, which obviously is keto. Done. You know, um, I don't really like that. I'm not a big fan of cranberry sauce to begin with, so I don't bother. But I mean, my mom's going to make some collard greens. You know, I have a million keto cheesecakes, Swedish keys cheesecakes, pumpkin cheesecakes, you know, like I've, desserts covered. I can do this. So part of the thing that I was going to do is I rented a beach house so that we're right down the street from my, from my, from my in-law's house where my parents are too. Um, but I have like my own kitchen, my own, like I, I've tried to think ahead here and to stay on track. Like I just can't gain any more weight. So I've got that under control. I'm planning it, you know, but all of the anxiety of I get a pack for the, for a week vacation, you know, for my kids, two kids, a husband, me, a dog, and a cat. <laughs> so it's like, oh! So um, there's just a lot of stuff, and it's like, it's of course, it's that week before my period where I'm in my feels. <laughs> um, and I'm just, it makes me uneasy because I'm not normally like that. So all with all that being said, good things come when I am mad. And right now, I am mad at myself. I am mad at everything weight loss related. I am mad at everything. And when I'm mad, I figure it out. So when I, it takes a while to get me to that point and right now I am mad. So I, I, I was like, there's a million things going through my mind emotionally. I can't get into too much of that because I don't want this video to be about that. But I want a direction for my channel. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I know obviously the minimums, you know. <laughs> I will still be here, weight loss, you know, but like what I want to do going forward, you know, it's like, 
I need, I need something to, I need to figure this out because if I can figure this part out, I could help so many more people because everybody struggles losing weight because it's hard. It's so easy to overeat. It's so easy to spend five days, Monday through Friday, perfect and blow it in two days on the weekends. It's so easy, you know, like, so like, these are the things that I share with you, not because I want to have a pity party or I want your sympathy or I want you to feel bad for me or, you know, whatever, get views. I share this because this is the stuff, this is why people struggle and nobody talks about this part. They only show you losing all this weight and it's just perfect and, you know, everybody gets, everybody wins and it's not how it happens and it makes me mad of all the fakeness that's out there. So I share the stuff that is not, that is not favorable for my, my success with you to show that you know you're not alone. This is the reality of a weight loss journey. It's not puppies and rainbows, it's not unicorns, it's not easy. This is this is raw and real. So, um, but that means there's a reason why I have created this community. There's a reason why you guys like what I have to say and it's because I want to, re I really want the best for myself and everybody else and I'm tired <laughs> of all, this, all the noise that's out there. I want to figure this out. So I am thinking of a 90 day challenge for my weight loss goals for the beginning of the year. I'm just chiseling out the details and there's the things that I'm struggling with, I wanna make this challenge about and that one of those elephants in the room is restriction. Um, I have to figure out how to tactile, tackle the restriction that I, I rebel against. So this is, this, I, and I don't have the answer yet. I have a two day car ride to Florida and a two day car ride back to Texas. I'm gonna be taking my headphones and I'm gonna be just jotting stuff down and I'm coming up with a plan that I'm gonna try. You know, like I have had two years, nine months under my belt living this new life, enjoying all the fruits of my labor you know, and sharing with you guys every possible detail, tips and tricks, so that you can change your life too. Well, this is part of it. I'm not done yet. There's a reason why I'm hitting this roadblock and it is my, I am going to smash through that wall. And like, and as soon as I figure it out, we're, you're gonna know. But I'm just saying not to like say, not to just blow smoke in your face right now, but there's good stuff coming from this channel and I vow to you to make that happen, you know, because when I figure it out, it not only helps me, but it helps you too. Um, and I want everybody to rewind their health from morbidly obese to a healthy weight. I want everybody to feel what it feels like to feel good, you know, and I, it's just something I want for this channel. It's why I do what I do. So um, without saying too much, I don't know if I'm starting a new channel like a spin-off um, to more get into that or if I'll do it all on this channel, but I have some fun and ideas so far, but how I get there and how like it, I just not, I don't have that part figured out yet, but I am thinking about it now so that we will have, this will be ready by January 1st, maybe even December 1st, I don't know, but I am ready to take this head on and I'm tired of the yo-yoing and I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for answers right now. And <laughs> so it is what it is. So stay tuned. There's just because I haven't hit my goal weight does not mean I don't have value here in this weight loss game, you know? So, um, but anyways, two more things. I am going to, I realized last week, not only was I thinking a lot and I was all in my feelings, but I was also bored. What do I do now? Like, what did I used to do? You know, like before softball. So one of the things that helps me not be bored is to work. As a way to help myself, I'm gonna start filming more. It keeps me more accountable on what I'm eating. It helps keep you guys entertained. I, when I discover something, it's like, you know, we, are, we can go through it together. Um, and it just keeps me busy. And when I'm not bored, <laughs> I'm not eating, you know? so. That's the one thing. So look forward to more videos coming soon. I know I say that sound like a broken record, but it was like, it dawned on me. I'm like, what do I do now? <laughs> well, work, you know, I like to do this stuff. I love this stuff. And I took a step back. 
So anyway, so that's coming. And the other thing is for food this week, I, I thought that with all the noise that's in my head, with all the issues right now with, with food and stay on track, I'm like, why don't we just take food out of the equation? Let's do OMAD, which is one meal a day. I have not done OMAD. I haven't even been doing a lot of fasting in general. So I, my plan is OMAD. <laughs> so I'm going to do that for this until we leave for Florida. And then I'll, in Florida, I'm not going to do all that. Um, but just to getting a couple days of quiet in my head, we're going to do OMAD. So I'm just having dinner this week. And it'll be keto, higher protein, you know, that kind of thing. So anyways, so that's the plan for this week. And I really can't stress it enough. Good things are coming. And a quick shout out to Marjorie. <laughs> I know you're watching this video and if you don't have a friend that you can talk to about this stuff, please find one. I will say this lady is a, is a blessing in my life. We can talk for hours about this stuff and it's always nice to find somebody that is like you. And if I'm that person for you, I am sign me up. I will totally be there for you. But I'm saying somebody like a close friend, somebody that you can talk to about this stuff that gets it. So that is it for me today. I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.